All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. And I'm actually gonna have two DC videos for you today. The first is gonna focus on, you know, everything going on with the DCU. And then I'm gonna have a separate video talking about a comic book storyline that is currently going on with DC and a preview of what is going to be starting up in, De uh, not December, but October of this year with a DC initiative. And I've got some covers to show you and some things. Uh, I'm going to talk about my overall feelings of that storyline so far because uh, I have been following it. Because, yes, I actually read comics. All right, guys. So I am on the, the, the course to get 20,000 subs, hopefully by the end of this year. And I can only do that with your help. If you're a regular viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please take the time to subscribe and especially like the video. The more people that like the video, the, the further it's going to reach on YouTube. Uh, and for those who are new here, I'm always going to give you my unfiltered thoughts on what I think about the DCU, which I'm not happy about Gun being in charge, and I make that very well known. Uh, but for people who are new here, take the time to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified as new videos go up. But let's take a look at what I've grabbed since my last update. All right, the first thing I have here is something I grabbed off of Facebook. There are numerous DCU and DCEU sites out there, and I do visit these quite often and read what people are saying. And I can tell you by far more people are upset about the DCEU not moving forward than they are excited about the DCU. I would say it's probably about 70-30. 70% don't like where they're headed, and the other 30% do like it. Now, this I thought was a very well-written post. These are my exact feelings on all of this. It said, if you look at DC Studios right now, it's funny and sad that they can't bring back the old cast and their new universe just like Marvel does. Make a successful film and bag it at the box office. Marvel has built a well-structured universe. Some haven't been that good film-wise. But they could pick a few loved characters and bring them back in their next phase of films. And it still would make sense. I think DC moving forward should take a look at that and learn a few things from them. They can't, they can't, cannot afford to reboot their universe once again if this current one fails. They should also learn to listen to their fan base and give the fans what they want. At the end of the day, we want a good, written, successful film we can rewatch once in a while. Kudos to that post right there. That's exactly it. There is no reason why they couldn't have done all of it. And ever since Gunn took over, all, all kinds of projects have been canceled. At the end of the day, it's only going to be his stuff moving forward. And even the stuff with Matt Reeves, Matt Reeves and we're going to see now that also with uh, the Joker too, that things are on shaky ground. And we're probably not going to get much outside of the DCU and outside of Gunn when all is said and done. And here it is. Joker movie director Todd Phillips has cast doubt on a Joker 3. I think we've said all we wanted to say in this world. So guys, it looks like that's going to be it. That's all she wrote after the Joker 2, uh, that there won't be anything else. And we have a lot to talk about when it comes to the Joker 2 here in this video. All right now, this is a rumor. You got to put this in the rumor category, but it says rumor Waller is being pushed as the next HBO original and will be a much larger a much larger show than what was originally planned. The series will tie to the Brave and the Bold. Now that would be interesting. I don't know again why they're doing a whole entire show on Waller is beyond me. It's just going to be more of the Suicide Squad stuff, the stuff that people did not want. And they don't need to do an entire show on Waller, just like they don't need to do a whole show on Themyscira's, uh, Themyscira, not Themyscira's, Themyscira before, you know, without a Wonder Woman. I, I don't think you, you should do that. But whatever, it's what they're deciding to do. But who knows if these projects will ever move forward. All right, now this is something that was on Reddit. I'm going to share this, but you got to take this with a grain of salt. There's a lot of people who are making you know, coming out with information they think is going to be canon moving forward. And we don't know if any of this is going to happen, but it's fun to speculate. And that's the only reason I'm sharing this. So you can take it as entertainment value only. But it says, hello, everyone. Welcome to Whisper Corner, a new initiative started by 
our DCU, home of verified, unverified information received by us through our sources. Take it with a pinch of salt, and let's dive right into it. Number one, one thing I know for sure, DCU Batman will be no younger than mid to late 30s, but could be as old as late 40s. No one younger than Glenn Powell is being considered for the role. Powell's rising stardom is seen as a plus to help distance this from the Pattinson version, but he will have to audition just like everybody else. I do not want Glenn Powell as Superman or as Batman. He does not have a Batman look. He might be able to pull off kind of a Bruce Wayne, but with that smile and that face, you cannot pull off Batman. He would be the last choice I would have for that character. Number two on this list, Booster Gold is more low-key and not as serious as Lanterns and Waller, so there isn't a push internally to make it an HBO original. Three, the two secret projects Gunn mentioned in this original announcement are Huntress and Plastic Man. Again, I don't think these are projects people are going to want to watch. Huntress being Gunn's favorite and the totally unique project that he couldn't talk about. Plastic Man being the project with the director who could take his time to make. Four, the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker Season 1 are almost entirely canon, except for a few recasts and very minor inconsistencies. In fact, they are pretty much seen as unofficial DCU projects internally and will be referenced heavily by official ones. Peacemaker Season 2 may or may not subtitle. Five, DCU Aquaman will be in a similar place as well let him, as we let him, Left him, it should say, left him. Left him in the DC, the DCEU despite being recast. Unlike the Suicide Squad and, and Peacemaker, only very broad strokes of Aquaman's story is carrying over, such as already being king, married to Mara with a son. Six, the Justice League already exist and existed in universe, and the Justice League International are coming sooner than people think. The Teen Titans also already existed, and the movie will be about the team being revived. 7. Not expect the chapters to look like Marvel's phases or the DCU to plan as many sequels to their projects. Gunn is serious about ensuring quality over writing, so sequels will not exist just for the sake of it. Each chapter runs about five years, making sure each project can truly work as a standalone while also fitting into the larger DCU storyline is a huge priority. This is one of the reasons there won't be as many true sequels. 8. One of the reasons the authority is taking so long is that they're very picky about the director because Gunn may hand Superman 2 to them. Well, Superman 2 will not be Superman versus the, versus the authority. It's planned as a Superman and authority team up and feature Warworld. It won't be coming out until Chapter 2. 9. DCU Arkham has been put on hold until after work of The Brave and the Bold is underway. The the Sev was more of an anthology masquerading as Clayface movie, unlike Ontario Campo's Arkham. 10. The final movie of Chapter 1 isn't a New Frontier movie per se. Rather, the entirety of Chapter 1 can be seen as sort of a loose modern-day adaptation of the New Frontier. This big film that will serve as the finale to the chapter will be far more ambitious than a single superhero team-up like five-man Justice League or six-man Avengers, which is what, which is why word is that Gunn will be writing and directing it himself. Oh, please no. It will feature several fra- factions and lots of characters. Likely more than Gunn has ever written for a project, but the Trinity will be the leads. See, I don't believe that. Gunn only knows weird, odd characters. I. Th- this is why I don't want Gunn in charge. I, I just don't. Eleven. The Wonder Twins is an animated project and was likely delayed. 12. By 2028, the DCU will be will have an output of three films per year and one, at most two, major Elseworlds releases per year. Now that I don't believe because of what Gunn said. Uh, I don't believe about the Elseworlds stuff, but I do believe they would probably target three DCU films per year. But this is only if Superman is successful, guys. And they went on to say, that's all, folks. Let the discussions begin. Here's more on The Joker 2. Todd Phillips says Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn is not similar to past interpretations. The high voice, that accent, the gum chewing, and all of that sort of sassy stuff that's in the comics, we strip that away. So, essentially, she's not Harley Quinn. Uh, They should have just called her a different character. The only reason they're calling her Harley Quinn 
is to get people to go see it. That's it. That's the only thing. This is not Harley Quinn, uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, th- this is a total bastardization of that character. More on the Joker 2. Todd Phillips doesn't want to label Joker 2 a musical. Most of the music in the movie is really just dialogue. It's just Arthur not having the words to say what he wants to say, so he sings them instead. Kind of bizarre. Uh, I think most of this movie is going to take place in his head, along with the Harley character. Now, I thought this was funny, and I actually post, I, I made a comment on this. It says, Blue Beetle is the first DC film labeled Verified Hot and 91% on the popcorn meter. Rotten Tomatoes just introduced Verified Hot as a new designation for films with a verified audience score of 90% or higher. Read more about the new designation. Yeah, but this movie was the least performing DCU project, period. It made less money than every single other DCEU film. But yet that character is coming back in the DCU. Like I said, you had the Suicide Squad, which was a failure. You had Blue Beetle, which was a failure in theaters. And just because it had a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes means he gets to move forward. That's it. They only care about critics' ratings. They don't care. Well, this is the audience score. They don't care about the money. It's ridiculous. You've got to have a following you got to have, if people don't pay money to go see it, you got nothing. You, you can't move forward. Uh, this to me is ridiculous. And I posted, you fail upwards at Warner Brothers. That's just how it works with that company. Now, Ray, Ray Fisher posted this, and I thought this was awesome. He he did this at Ray, he, he actually tagged Ray Porter. Uh, and he hashtagged Zack Snyder's Justice League and Snyder Cut. Uh, he said, makes you think. And it shows a picture of both Dark Side and cyborg together and their helmets uh the sides are exactly the same it's the same ears and chin strap which is very interesting uh so ray fisher said makes you think uh he was created using the mother box so there's no uh there is definitely a connection there which is pretty cool now this is a quote from james gunn that comes from the hollywood reporter and i'll believe this when i see it he said i learned so much from making the guardians of the galaxy movies But it's not like Superman is going to have exactly the same vibe as a Guardians movie. It's actually quite different. James Gunn. I certainly hope so. I hope he's right on this. I hope he takes the character seriously. But I don't see him moving away from the comedy. I just don't. Uh, There have been too many people on the project that said that have used the word funny and comedic that I have very real fears about this movie. Now, this was a headline that came up today, and this was a whole nothing burger, and I'll talk about what this was, but it says, here is the latest on the Batman Part 2. The Batman 2 writer praises Matt Reeves and shares exciting update on sequel. I don't know what the exciting part was because all it announced is that they do plan on filming next year. That was it. That was the big update. Uh, And and that uh, it it, it is a direct sequel to the Batman, uh, you think? Uh, So there was really nothing to update, guys, on this. It was just it was just confirming that it does plan on filming next year, but there's no script yet, and the only one still attached to it is Pattinson. They're, they haven't even announced any other any other cast members, so we don't know anything about this film. It's still up in the air. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's the DCU update for the day. I will have another update talking about the comics uh, coming up shortly after this one. Uh, I do appreciate all the support. Again, If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up. I look forward to hitting that 20,000 sub mark, and we will see you in the next video.